now I'm giving you the standards. Focus on it like a camera. Baby, good luck with the mother girls. The ones that you keep calling random. Now you just ought to remember. Not every girl is the same. The feeling you know that you got it good. Don't let that one get away. I tell you what I'm not feeling. Okay guys, today I'm using a new Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and this is how it looks. Okay, so here's my old Comfort Zone palette next to the new palette. And as you can see, the old palette has 8 shades and the new palette actually has 10 shades. And the two additional shades are um, this orange and this like reddish tone. Those are both used for the transition areas. And as you can see, as I dip my brush into it, those um, two shades had a lot of fallout. But hey, a little fallout doesn't bother me. So right now I'm just going to blend these two shades into my transition area and right into my crease. Now I'm going to take this blue brown shade and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid using a BH Cosmetics shader brush. And to help this shade pop a little more, I just sprayed some setting spray onto my brush and then dipped it back into that shade. And I'm just going to continue to apply this all over the lid. Now I'm going to line my eyes using the Essence Super Precise Liquid Eyeliner. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of this creamy shimmery shade and just apply that to my brow bone for a brow bone highlight. Today I'm going to be priming with this amazing new primer by Maybelline and this is taking a very special place in my heart even over my Holy Grail primer which I just held up and that was the Blur and Smooth. I absolutely love this Hydrate and Smooth primer. It's just so creamy. It just melts into the skin and it keeps my skin hydrated all day. And my foundation for today will be Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Foundation and I'm in the shade 420. And for you guys who haven't had a chance to try this foundation yet, this foundation does dry down very quickly. So I strongly suggest that you just apply it to one side of your face first, blend it all out, and then go on to finish the other side of your face. And for concealer today, I'll be using the Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define Concealers. I picked them up in the shades C10, C12, and C13, as you can see swatched on the back of my hand. And at first, I thought it would be a good idea to use shade C13 to highlight, but it was actually way too close to my skin tone. So I just went on top of that with um, the shade C12 to highlight. Now I'm just blending out this concealer using a damp beauty sponge.
I must say that this concealer is most definitely full coverage and it just blended out like a dream and just melted into my skin like I'm really loving it. And now I'm just taking some Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set everywhere that I highlighted to set all that concealer. Now I'm just setting the remainder of my face using my Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation Powder in the shade Deep 60. And for contour, I'm using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark. Now for blush, I'm just going to take one of my old blushes by Wet n Wild, and this is in a shade I think is Mellow Wine, and I'm also going to use a Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Royal Callus, and it's a holographic purple highlighter. It's the bomb. I absolutely love this highlighter. And to set everything into place, I'm just going to spray my face with this rose water spray. And today for my lippy, I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Craft. And I actually found this at my local TJ Maxx for $6.99. So yes, I love it. It's a nice little pink shade with a little bit of a like a purpley undertone. But I absolutely love it. Okay guys, here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, I love you love bugs. Now I'm giving you the standards. Focus on it like a camera. Baby, good luck with the mother girls.